Are you ready to finally meet your true soulmate? Check the first link in the description after you watch this video. With that being said, let's get into the video. Imagine two souls, deeply linked, embarking on an extraordinary spiritual journey. These are what we refer to as twin flames. Their connection isn't just strong, it's a bond that is powerful and unyielding, a connection that sears and burns with intensity, much like the flames they're named after. This bond, it's not something that can be easily explained, it's a strong tether, a magnetic pull between two entities that is absolutely unbreakable. It's a bond that endures the turbulence of time and the harsh realities of life. Their mission, you ask, it's different from what one might expect. It doesn't involve procreation or the creation of physical life. Instead, around the concept of spiritual evolution. This is a unique concept, one that is not commonly talked about. The objective here isn't to carry forth a lineage, but to evolve spiritually, to move towards a higher plane of existence. The energy that emanates from twin flames is transformative. It's an energy that challenges, it pushes, it prods at boundaries and comfort zones. This energy, it's not a force aiding physical creation, but one that is driving personal and collective evolution. It's an energy that is all encompassing, one that is capable of bringing about significant changes in the spiritual realm. This volatile environment they exist in, while being ideal for spiritual growth, may not be the nurturing ground for raising children. This environment, filled with spiritual challenges and metaphysical hurdles, can be demanding and draining. Raising children in such an environment could prove to be a challenge, for it's not an environment conducive to the nurturing and caring of young ones. The focus here is not on physical existence, but on spiritual development and growth. Parenthood, a beautiful journey in its own right, may not align with the karmic lessons twin flames have to learn. These lessons, often challenging and enlightening, are integral to the spiritual evolution of the twin flames. Parenting, while fulfilling and rewarding, could potentially divert them from their spiritual path. The ultimate goal of the twin flames? It's spiritual enlightenment, a pursuit that transcends the physical world and the confines of human existence. This is a pursuit that goes beyond the tangible, a pursuit that seeks to answer the deeper, more profound questions of life. It's a pursuit that involves reaching out to the unknown and embracing the profound mysteries of the universe. So why don't twin flames have children together? It's not about inability, but about a spiritual purpose. It's not because they can't, but because they have a higher calling, a calling that transcends the earthly bounds of physical creation. Remember, twin flames aren't here for physical creation. They're here for spiritual evolution. Embarking on their journey, twin flames are not defined by the physical world, but by the spiritual realm. Twin flames, often misunderstood, are not molded by societal norms, nor bound by the laws of the mortal world. They exist in a sphere beyond the grasp of the ordinary, a realm where the spiritual reigns supreme and the physical merely exists. Their purpose isn't to produce life, but to enhance it, to elevate it to a higher level of consciousness. Each step they take, each breath they draw, marks an evolution, a transformation, a rebirth. The journey they undertake is as mysterious as it is profound, a voyage not through the material plane, but through the ethereal, the unknown. It's a pilgrimage of the soul, an expedition within. They traverse through the labyrinth of their inner selves, guided not by the senses, but by the spirit. Each interaction they share, each challenge they face, every moment of happiness and distress is a stepping stone towards their spiritual evolution. Twin flames are not mere companions. They are catalysts for each other's growth. They propel each other towards self-realization and spiritual enlightenment, like two celestial bodies gravitating towards one another, influencing each other's path and existence. Their journey is intense, often filled with turbulence. It's laden with lessons to be learned and unlearned, with truths to be discovered and myths to be debunked. But this journey is not merely about two bodies, it's about two souls. They are deeply intertwined, their spirits inextricably linked, ascending beyond the physical plane to embrace the spiritual. There is extraordinary, even unique in its essence. Their journey, an odyssey not aimed at creating life, but at transforming it. A metamorphosis of the soul, a transfiguration of consciousness. The essence of twin flames is not in procreation, but in the evolution of consciousness. They are the chosen ones, guided not by societal norms or expectations, 
but by the universe itself. They tread a path less traveled, a path of self-discovery, of spiritual enlightenment. This path may not align with the traditional concept of parenthood, but it aligns with the universal law of spiritual ascension. Twin flames might not bring a child into the world, but they certainly bring forth a new level of consciousness. They usher in a new understanding of love, of connection, of existence itself. Their mission is not to continue the physical lineage, but to advance the spiritual lineage of humanity, to guide it towards a new era of understanding and enlightenment. The journey of Twin Flames is a journey of transformation, of evolution, of ascension. It's not a journey that is understood by many, but it's a journey that is necessary for the evolution of our collective consciousness. It's a journey that transcends the physical and embraces the spiritual. A journey that is not about creation, but about transformation. Remember, Twin Flames are not about physical creation, they are about spiritual evolution. Beyond the spiritual journey, twin flames carry a transformative energy. This energy is not just personal, it is collective. It vibrates through the universe and can be felt even at the remotest corners. This energy is potent, a force that disrupts the status quo and challenges traditional paradigms. Twin flames, as they journey together, embody this transformative energy that transcends personal limitations and extends to the collective consciousness of humanity. When we talk about the connection between twin flames, we're talking about a bond so profound and deep that it has the ability to shake the very foundation of their existence. It can awaken them to their true potential, their highest self. It pushes them beyond their comfort zones, forcing them to face their deepest fears, confront their darkest shadows, and transcend their limitations. This bond, this profound connection, is a catalyst for profound metamorphosis. It molds them, shapes them, pushes them towards their highest self. But the transformative energy of twin flames is not confined to the personal sphere. It resonates outward with a frequency that can be felt by those around them. It vibrates through the collective consciousness, impacting not just the twin flames, but everyone who is connected to them. This energy can instigate change. It can be a trigger for a collective awakening. The energy of twin flames is a call for evolution, for transcending the norms, for shattering barriers. It challenges the status quo. It questions the established norms. It breaks down preconceived notions. It is a radical call for collective evolution, not just personal growth. It demands us to question, to reflect, to transform. It propels us towards new dimensions of understanding, towards a higher level of consciousness. This energy is intense, often uncomfortable. It shakes us to our core. It pushes us beyond our comfort zones. But it's necessary for growth. It's the energy that obliterates the old to pave the way for the new. It's the energy that challenges, disrupts, and ultimately evolves. When we talk about twin flames, we're not just talking about two souls embarking on a spiritual journey. No, we're talking about a potent force, a transformative energy that not only challenges and changes the individuals, but also impacts the collective. Twin flames are not just about personal evolution, they are about collective evolution. Their mission isn't just individual, it's universal, and that's why their mission goes beyond the realm of parenthood. They are not here merely to bring physical life into existence, their higher purpose is to bring about a transformation in spiritual life. They are here to challenge the norms, to push the boundaries, to instigate change, and to usher in a new level of consciousness. Their mission is not to create physical life, but to transform spiritual life. Continuing from the transformative energy of Twin Flames, let's delve into why parenthood may not always align with their journey. To appreciate the depth of this, it is first necessary to understand the unique dynamics of Twin Flames and their mission. Twin Flames are not simply two halves of the same soul. They are spiritual entities that come together to create a powerful, transformative energy, an energy that surpasses the physical realm and steps into the spiritual. They are about creating a ripple effect of transformation and evolution, not just in their individual lives, but also on a larger scale. Twin flames have a higher purpose that extends beyond themselves, beyond the creation of physical life. Their path is not just about procreation, but about fostering a significant shift in spiritual consciousness. They're about challenging norms, questioning traditional roles and pushing boundaries further. 
Their mission is not confined to the ordinary, rather they are called upon to bring about extraordinary changes in the spiritual realm. This brings us to the concept of karmic lessons. Karmic lessons, as the name suggests, are the spiritual learnings that our souls are meant to absorb in this lifetime. They are the challenges we face, the hurdles we cross, and the growth we achieve through these experiences. They are our spiritual curriculum designed to evolve our soul and accelerate our spiritual growth. For Twin Flames, these lessons are intensified and expanded. Their karmic lessons are not just about personal growth, but about collective evolution. They are meant to challenge and disrupt the status quo to bring about change at a profound, deeper level. They are called upon to shake up the existing structures and create a shift in consciousness. Parenthood, while a beautiful and transformative journey in its own right, may not always align with these karmic lessons. The responsibilities and commitments of parenthood can limit the potential for twin flames to fully dedicate themselves to their spiritual mission. This is not to diminish the importance of parenthood, but rather to point out that the journey of twin flames might diverge from traditional pathways. This divergence doesn't mean that twin flames cannot be parents or that they won't excel in it. It simply means that their spiritual journey may take them on a different path, a path that is less about creating new life and more about transforming existing ones, a path that is less focused on nurturing a single soul and more about nurturing the collective consciousness. Twin flames are about creating a spiritual renaissance, a shift in consciousness that impacts not just their lives, but those of many others. Their mission is to facilitate transformation on a larger scale. And while parenthood can certainly be a part of this journey for some, for others, it might not align with the karmic lessons they are here to learn. Having discussed the transformative energy of twin flames and their unique karmic lessons, it's time to address the question we started with. Why don't twin flames have children together? It's important to note that this notion is not about the biological inability of the twin flames, but rather it's about their deeper spiritual purpose that transcends physicality. Twin flames, as we've learned, are not bound by conventional societal norms, traditions, or the standard life paths most people adhere to. They traverse a different journey, a journey less about physical creation and more about spiritual evolution. The twin flames are unique entities. Their existence is not defined by the usual parameters of society. They embody an extraordinary spiritual journey that transcends the physical realm. Their mission isn't about fitting into societal norms or following traditional life paths. It's about breaking barriers, challenging norms, disrupting the status quo, and bringing about change on a collective level. Their journey together is not about procreation, but about spiritual awakening and evolution. It's crucial to understand that in their journey, the mission of Twin Flames is to question, challenge, and disrupt the conventional status quo to bring about a profound change on a collective level. This change they aim for isn't superficial or surface level, but deeply transformative, impacting the very fabric of the collective consciousness. Their mission often requires them to devote themselves entirely to their spiritual journey. This commitment to their spiritual journey is a significant one, it's a dedication that might not always align with the responsibilities and commitments of traditional parenthood. Twin flames often need to commit themselves fully to their spiritual journey, an intense commitment that demands focus, time, energy, and often means prioritizing their spiritual over more traditional life paths, including parenthood. Let's clarify that this isn't a judgment on the value of parenthood. Parenthood is a beautiful, transformative, and incredibly significant journey in its own right. However, it's important to acknowledge the unique path twin flames tread, a path that is less about nurturing a single soul and more about nurturing and elevating the collective consciousness. Their journey is less about creating new life and more about transforming existing lives. Twin flames' mission is to achieve a kind of spiritual evolution leaves a lasting impact on the collective consciousness and the world as a whole. They are meant to bring change and transformation in the world, not just to create new life. Their path is unique, different from the traditional, but equally valuable and significant. So why don't twin have children together? Because their purpose is not about physical creation, but about spiritual evolution. And that evolution might take them on paths less traveled 
but equally valuable and important 